Over 200 years ago, Edward Jenner observed that milkmaids working with cows were rendered immune to the deadly disease of smallpox. He practically applied this observation in an experiment and vaccination was born. Since then, the vaccination strategies have been key in lowering mortality from many diseases and saving millions of lives all over the world each year. When we think of vaccines, we think of injections and pain. A major reason for patient non-compliance to vaccination regimes is due to an unwillingness to being repeatedly injected. In developing parts of the world, this is even more problematic as injectable vaccines need qualified personnel and fairly sterile conditions to be administered. Slowly but surely, however, trends are changing. Here, at the UCD Veterinary Sciences Center in Dublin, a research group is determined to change how we perceive vaccines. Tosif Ahmed, a PhD student in the Irish Drug Delivery Cluster, is looking to find new ways to deliver vaccines orally, thereby reducing or even eliminating the need for injections. There is increasing evidence to show that oral vaccination strategies are much more efficient than injected vaccines. Oral vaccines, when delivered correctly, have been shown to produce a more robust response, enabling a far better level of protection from a given disease. But delivering an oral vaccine efficiently is where the challenge lies. From the mouth to the stomach and then the intestine, this is the root of the food we eat. Absorption of nutrients takes place here, in your intestines. If you were to delve deeper to look at its architecture, this is what you would find. A neatly arranged row of cells whose job is to absorb nutrition for the body. But occasionally, a harmful microbe will find its way into your intestine and a special group of cells called M cells will grab them before they can invade and pass it on to the immune system of the body for processing. It is this process that provides you with immunity against future attacks by the same microbe. This key role of M cells in your gut is what Tosi wishes to exploit to produce an efficient oral vaccine. By protecting a vaccine inside a delivery vehicle and targeting this to the M cells in the intestine, he wants to mimic a microbial invasion that would artificially create immunity against a real attack. Before a vaccine delivery vehicle can be given to people, their properties and efficiency must be evaluated in human intestinal cells in the lab. Intestinal cells are grown outside the human body in plastic jars or flasks and maintained by duplicating the conditions present within a human body in a tissue culture facility. Like all human cells, these artificially grown cells need to be regularly monitored and kept in an incubator which provides the right amount of humidity and temperature. When these cells have been grown for a period spanning three weeks, it is time to test candidate vaccine delivery vehicles on them. The relative success or failure of a vehicle is measured by enumerating the number of vehicles that are actively taken up by these cells over a given period of time. This, in turn, is a measure of how successful the targeting strategy employed was. At the end of the day, when Tosif hangs up his lab coat, he knows that there are many hurdles that are yet to be overcome before an oral vaccine reaches the market. Undaunted, however, he knows that his good feeling is right.